Peggy 16. Hi everyone, I'm Mark and welcome to Numskull Games Presents. Today we're going to be running through what's coming up in the calendar for Numskull Games in 2021, including looks at previously announced games, brand new trailers of upcoming titles, exclusive competitions that you will only find here, and we'll even have the Battle Axe devs in the house to talk us through their highly anticipated retro throwback adventure game Battle Axe. Now if you'd like to help us out please like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below, it will really help Numskull Games out. With that in mind, let's take a look at a brand new physical edition releasing in 2021. Following on from that announcement, we've got our first competition of the day. If you're a fan of the Deadly Premonition franchise, we have an exciting competition for you. We have physical copies of Deadly Premonition Origins signed by Sweary65 himself. To win one of these, all you need to do is like the video, comment Deadly Premonition Comp and subscribe to the channel. Best of luck! Throw yourself into the world of light and shadow with Iris Fall. Iris Fall is a 3D puzzle adventure game featuring striking visuals and a spellbinding theme of light and shadow. Our titular character Iris starts off her story by following a black cat into a dilapidated theatre, unknowingly heading into a world full of mystery and wonder. Help Iris navigate her way through the black and white gothic labyrinths which are filled to the brim with stunning imagery and mind-bending puzzles that block her path. Bend light, decipher code and transition between the 3D world and 2D planes created by shadows to overcome the mystery and navigate the labyrinth. The beautifully distinct and ornate art style makes each room of the theatre intriguing, mystifying and a complete surrealist joy to explore and overcome. The monochrome world isn't just for show though, as Iris Fall tells a unique silent story through each of its environments, with the atmosphere and Iris' actions having a direct impact on the narrative. Iris begins to realise along her journey that this labyrinthine theatre has a connection to herself. It's up to you to help Iris discover the secret that ties her to this dreamlike world when the physical edition of Iris Fall releases this year. Iris Fall will be available to purchase on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 this February. Available to pre-order now. Get ready for action and Chinese mythology as they come to the forefront in Bladed Fury. 
Bladed Fury is a fluid and precise 2D action game based on Chinese history and mythology with surreal elements at its surface. Wandering the warring states of China, Ji is an exiled princess on a vengeful quest after a rival clan takes control of the region. Wrongly blamed for her father's death, she must restore honour to her name and defeat the treasonous Taiyan clan. On her journey, Ji encounters many of China's ancient deities who aid her with their mystical powers and wise words. Bladed Fury makes use of an incredible art style that really adds an element of uniqueness and style to this hack and slash adventure, with precise platforming and puzzle solving breaking up the non-stop action that she finds herself faced with. Along your journey, you soldier have gathered to upgrade Ji's abilities and better equip yourself to take down waves of enemies and stand a fighting chance against the game's impressive boss battle that require you to remember skill sets and move patterns. Help G clear her name and gain vengeance for her father when Numskull Games brings the fast-paced, frantic gameplay of Bladed Fury to Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 this March. Available for pre-order now. Up next, we've got a brand new trailer for a brand new game. What's it gonna be? London, New Year's Eve, 1999. While everyone else is getting ready to party, the Metropolitan Police are working overtime. Me? Let's just say I'm waiting for some fireworks of my own. Somewhere in East London, a local firm of gangsters is buying enough guns to wage war on the entire capital. of them in the only way I know how. Kicking doors and shooting bad guys. Battle Axe is just on the horizon, so let's axe our devs for some more info. Yeah, that was awful, I'm sorry. My name is Mike Tucker, and I'm the, I think I'm the design director at Bitmap Bureau. <laughs> So that means I'm in charge of all things design, uh, whether that's level design, game design. Hi, I'm Henk Nieborg, the creator and pixel artist of the upcoming game Battle Axe. I've been working together with Matt and Mike from Bitmap Bureau since 2017 when they asked me to join creating a prototype for Xenocrisis. Battle Axe is my personal project and the second game we developed together as a team. Battle Axe is, I guess it's a very traditional fantasy themed hack and slash kind of game. Yeah, it's just very action packed, very gory, traditional kind of ar ar you know arcade adventure really. Being a top down game, most of the characters have eight degrees of movement, so they can go you know upright, right, down right, down, etc. That means every character has to be animated in five of those directions, and then three of the directions are flipped to give you the left and right variants. A game like this is a huge undertaking for an artist, especially when the visuals are of such high quality. Henk, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is he's one of the best pixel artists probably on the planet. With this game, he's really gone to town, you know, with the visuals. It's, um, it was his pet project from the start. It's really a showcase of his abilities as a pixel artist and a, and a game designer, of course. Since everything is pixel in high detail, when laid all together, it looks quite impressive altogether. It's all pixelated, but because of the high level of detail, it still looks nice on higher screens. I'm always trying to work with a good balance between given time and the highest level of quality I can achieve. When it finally all comes together and seeing your game run on the system is very rewarding as a creator. I think if you look back at all the classic beat em up games, pretty much any beat em up really is, is going to be uh, needs to be a two player game. I think it's just more fun playing a game with someone sat next to you and you're cooperating to you know, achieve the same goal. With local cop, you can interact with your player friend when sharing the pickups. It can be fun and also mean stealing the loot. All heroes have their own advantages. Rooney the Marauder is the slowest but more powerful. Ilo, the wizard with a beard attack, is just fun to watch. Each hero has also a different special move. 
As a player, I would just try all of them because they're all fun in their own way. I've really gotten into using Faye, who has a very powerful melee attack, and very rapid melee attack. Um, just feels really satisfying using her. Also, her special attack lets you get out of dangerous situations, but also deal damage to the enemies. And I think visually, she has the most flair out of all three characters. So yeah, she's definitely my favorite. There's loads of fun slashing your way through the game, especially when playing the infinite mode, which has a more traditional gauntlet approach with a gameplay that becomes quite manic but satisfying. Okay, so infinite mode in particular is, um, it takes all of the elements of the main arcade mode and throws them all together. Uh, so you're, you're, anything you find in arcade mode, you also find in infinite mode. But yeah, it's probably a bit more intense than arcade mode. And also because everything's randomly placed, uh, you'll have to be on your toes the whole time. And uh, yeah, no, no two games will be the same. Infinite mode is a mode that you can keep playing over and over and it will always give you a challenge. It's fairly traditional really, um, you just have a shop, really a campfire scene between each level and there you can upgrade your power, your projectile power and also your speed. Uh, and there's a few other items as well which can help you like magic scrolls, potions and so on. Yeah, it's like a fun addition, it, it just adds another layer of uh, strategy to the game. Also New Game Plus, we've got that working and that's absolutely brutal because a, a lot of the rules change and the enemy behaviours. Yeah, if you're a Basswax veteran, I, I think you'll uh, get a lot of fun out of that too. I want to have my game sound like the classics from the 90s, especially Capcom or Konami classics. For that, I needed the right sound of music that reminded me and everyone of that era. We needed that kind of uh, classic Capcom sound that you hear in games like uh, Magic Sword, uh, Mercs, both written uh, by uh, Matsume-san, in fact. Mug actually managed to contact Manami through her label. She gladly agreed to do the entire soundtrack of our game. It's just fantastic to have such talent on board and also because of her legacy. And yeah, growing up I, I was just a massive fan of her and it, pretty much everything Capcom did so uh, it was a real honour to be able to work with her and yeah, I think she's really delivered on this project as well. Looking at Battle Axe and my whole career as a game artist, I just really appreciate the whole resurgence of pixel art as an art style in general. Being able to do what I like most in your own dream project is a luxury. Just wanted to thank all of the amazing Kickstarter backers for, for that. Really appreciate it. And last but not least, Numbskull Games, of course, for picking up our game supporting, recognizing and appreciating our work. Thanks a lot. The physical editions of Battle Axe are due to land on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 this April. We've also got signed copies of the Battle Axe Shadow Box Edition available to win today. All you need to do is like the video, comment Battle Axe Comp and subscribe to the channel. It's as easy as that. To end today's presentation we have a bit of new exclusive footage showing off one of the game's newly developed boss battles. Enjoy! sell you something.